Electrical Club, and we're gonna be showing you how to handle our little terrapin here, Bubbles. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Juliet. I'm Molly. I'm Maddie. I'm Anne Marie. I'm Trent. I'm Malone. I'm Zachary. I'm Dalton. I'm Peter. I'm Jillian. And then back here we have Emmy and Melissa. We are going to be feeding her mealworms. Oh, she sees it now. <laughs> She's apparently hungry. It's because she's holding it whole. She's eating it whole. It's impressive. Well, she's a turtle. She is a terrapin that we are going to be taking back to the ocean. We're, we're, no, it's not Poplar the ocean. Island. Poplar Island at, at the end of the school year. Okay. We're going to be measuring her with Maddie first. So, which one? And it's 66. This is a binder filled with She's all of our terrapin um, data. data. But that, we measure her once a week and we weigh her and we keep track of how much she's grown. So this is all her growth data. Carapace is the top of her shell and Plasteron is the bottom. No, that's not how you do it. That's still, that's still the cross, the cross line. No, we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's tricky to do. Okay, bottom. this way is 46 and a half. Okay. And this way is about 82. Okay. Shell height. Okay, shell height. Go across. Okay. Um, it's about 34 or 33. Yeah, 33 and a half. Right? Yes. Now we're doing the grand swing. Okay, come on, bubbles. Flip on her shell. So okay. Try to walk off. That's how we. Wait. Um. She's gone. What's it say? Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Okay. And now we're gonna come over here and check with the tank and how we're gonna keep that clean. Yes. Well, yeah, bubbles so. has a few more meal worms over here. She Hi, we're gonna be here cleaning bubbles' tank. So first, Juliet's gonna put in this tube. She puts it all the way in, and then she caps her thumb on the end, so that way the water that's already inside of it stays in. As she brings it out, she puts it into this bucket, and the um, it sucks up all the dirty stuff, but it also sucks up the water, so you have to fill it back up afterwards. We fill it back up with brackish water, which we have salt, sea salt that we actually put in it, and dechlorinator, because that's what's best for this type of terrapin. Then Molly, then we scrub stuff off the bottom, just so it doesn't get caught on there and then get back into the water right after we clean it. Let's look and see what, we had the temperature. It was, what is that, 70, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty good for bubbles. Down here, you can see all the dirty water from what bubbles was swimming in. There's a lot of the dirt that Molly was scraping up right there. We have been raising bubbles since the beginning of the school year. Her birth certificate is back here um, from September 3rd, 2015. We are keeping her because there are many terrapins that aren't this lucky and get treated very well. Many of them are endangered because of fishing line, which is another segment that we will be doing, and a lot of water pollution. Um, bubbles was actually very lucky to be able to live a happy life like this. We will be releasing her, like we said, later in the year though, to Poplar Island and they will have a tracker on her and we will see if we can find her again after she's gone through the whole island. Okay, um, we got the Terrapin as part of a research project and a partnership between um, the University of Ohio and um, the Maryland Environmental Service and the DNR and they're doing research to try to see what the best conditions to raise terrapins are and how they, how they do after they're released to see um, how we can help them. So um, the project is called um, TERP, which is Terrapin Education and Research on Poplar. And so they get released back to Poplar Island, which is a newly, I guess, 
constructed island or reconstructed island in the Chesapeake Bay that had sunk. So um, it's a good habitat for them because there's no people that live there. And people and terrapins don't always get along very well because of all the development that we do. So um, hopefully this will help with the research and we'll figure out how we can best help terrapins to survive better with people. Thank you.